a long time, man. To yeah. Taste, since you tasted victory, just give us a yeah. little bit of how sweet it is tonight. Yeah, it, it, it's it's definitely nice. You know, uh, every just all of the all of the you know the ups and you know ups and downs. Uh, I always ex planned on to beat the guy, but it would it would always you know t just kind of like not happen and but but I always planned on it you know and and uh and uh it was always pretty tough afterwards and then it was like how am I going to change up stuff how am I going to change it up and you know switching camps and uh I actually had a really good camp um came out here and and uh it actually turned into like like a backyard brawl you know it wasn't really the most clean fight I guess but uh you know it was good to get the it was good to get it and to know like I had a good camp to push through it you know and uh it was nice talk about the fight because as you said I mean it turned into a brawl I mean, yeah after that kind of time away we thought maybe you'd come in kind of settle in a little bit get a rhythm yeah instead. yeah it was like yeah just right at it well I mean you know um if a guy comes at you it's it's really hard to back down and to like really uh, um, you know, to pull back and like, all right, you, it, it's just more like, all right, dude, this, this guy's coming at me. Let's, let's kind of tone it down a little bit by not like pulling back, but like hitting him a couple times. And, uh, you know, he came out hard and, and, you know, you really can't keep that type of pace. You know, uh, it was even tough for me to even try to keep up a l and and uh, um, I mean that's th that that's a crazy pace, you know. And you know, I got a little tired, but I had a good camp, um, uh, great sparring, and uh, you know I was I was prepared to pull through it, you know, to dig deep. How did your body respond to the weight cut and also having those extra hours to rehydrate? Yeah, you know what? I haven't been under 150 since my junior year in high school so it was it was on the back of my head um <clears throat> all camp like can i make this you know and uh and a little stressful but i was really really disciplined you know every meal was was on point and uh of course the last couple pan there there it was kind of tough you know of course just like let's get these last 2.8 off it was rough and uh but i liked that i liked how it was early you're on weight just go jump on a scale get it over with and then you know drink up instead of being on early and then having to wait through everybody else you know until like four o'clock and you're just holding it you, you know that was a problem in the past where the fight almost became the weight cut and it would have a drastic impact on the fight well uh it never really had it, it it was just annoying it was just like all right i'm going to this place where you know i have to act cordial to people and i have to you know flex and i'm i'm dying dehydrated you know let's just get it done and then give you know, opportunity to flex and to talk to people and and to, to kind of be human with a little bit of fluids in me, you know. How did your body feel out there in the cage tonight? The <clears throat> it didn't feel bad. Uh, you know, again, it was hard to tell just because it was a crazy pace. You know, he was coming at me all different, just swinging him. And, uh, um, <clears throat> you know, but I was prepared to pull through. Um, I mean, I definitely feel a lot quicker, a lot, uh, a lot more agile, strong still. Um, you know, it, it's good weight. So you're gonna be here to stay? Yeah, yeah, I'll be here to stay. You know, again, I'm, I'm pretty much all the way through camp. The last two years, I've I've been averaging at about 163. You know, and. Uh, that's a little bit too small to be going 155. If I do choose to go up, all right, I'm going to have to hit the, you know, put on a little bit of weight, you know, 
And uh, so I'm here to stay for a while. Just coming into this fight with the time away, with the four losses, yeah. were you kind of telling yourself it's now or never? If there is a loss here, this might be it. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it all came down to, and for, for the last, you know, three years or it, at the e end of every camp, it was always a kind of a new camp, AKA, then I would go to power MMA and then, you know, jumping around and <clears throat> it's hard to be doing that and expect to know a camp is good. Do you understand? Like at the beginning of a camp, it's like, you're just kind of guessing like, all right, well, let's try this. So, so it's hard to like go into a scrap like, all right, you know, I know I'm like, I know I'm uh, prepared, you know, to do it. And um, the like a lot of, you know, if I get asked like, hey, do you get kind of nervous? And, you know, I tell them if I'm not prepared, then of course I get a little bit of you know, a little bit of the nerves, and that's how all the camps have kind of been. Is just, it's new. I don't really know if 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 it's good or not. Like, it's all just kind of like rolling the dice. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I got I got the last camp, and uh, you know, I had some good people who were who were open to a lot of stuff that I I kind of chose. Like, hey, let's do this, this, and this. And uh, you know, over time, you you kind of understand like what you're you kind of need to do. I mean, go ahead. You talked about how much um, the camp has kind of revitalized you and yeah. you felt more settled. Uh, talk about what the difference really was in this camp compared to others that gave you that feeling. Just having input. You know, I'm 37 and uh, I've been doing it since I was about three years old, like literally competing, cutting, and and by the time you know, now, if I don't know how to train, then, you know, I need to quit anyways. But I had good coaches who understood that and, and would kind of ask me, you know, like, how about, how about this? Well, no, I don't really like this. Instead of me just kind of like, all right, let's do it. Okay, yeah. I, hey, it's all up to you, coach, you know. But they would kind of interact, and, and, and we kind of built a really good camp to where I could be confident, and I could be comfortable, and I could tell them, hey, today, uh, you know, I'm not going to spar. Instead of like, ah, you got to get in there, man. You got to get tougher. But just like, all right, cool. Yeah. Let's, let's do a little pad work. All right. It's interesting because obviously a lot of people are on the internet saying, oh, Gray should retire. Why is he still around? Why is he yeah. going featherweight of all places after everything that happened to him at lightweight? I'm just wondering, where did you get sort of the belief system from when you sort of go online? There's so much negativity around there. And so many people are saying, oh, he should retire. He shouldn't be around. This is the yeah. wrong move. How do you sort of block that out? And how do you sort of go into the gym every day and find that belief to know, hey, this yeah. is the right decision when so many people are saying, it might not be. Well, this is all news to me, man. <laughs> God, maybe I should retire, huh? <laughs> no, uh, you know, you hear it all. And, uh, and ultimately, you know, an athlete has just kind of a time period. And, and, you know, I'm pretty honest about stuff. I'm pretty honest about, and, and I'm a critic too, you know, of me. And uh, I've never had a time to where it's like, you know what, I did awesome that fight, you know, and it could have been a good one, but I'm, I'm a critic. But I also know who I am, you know, and I still have a lot more to give. And I really haven't even, even put out the best me yet at all, you know. And, uh, and again, I'm, I'm just piecing it together. It's taken a lot of time, but, um, you know, uh, it's going to pay off, you know, and if it doesn't, then I'll be pissed, but. <laughs> yeah. this new division, though, does, is there anyone you're kind of looking at? You know, you mentioned your age, you mentioned your experience. In the yeah. Got, is, is big fight sort of what you're looking at, name guys, uh, you know, as far as opponents go? Your opponents tonight, not, not too well known. Or are you kind of looking for those bigger fights, uh, you know, going forward in your career? Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a, uh, a guy who, who, you know, I'm in this to become 
you know, the top dog. And, uh, you know, I would love to have the Edgar bout again. I would love to, to get in there and just, um, um, you know, keep going up against, you know, all the top guys. Again, what did I kind of take off of switching camps, you know, like doing all of that stuff and still going up against a top guy and not really knowing how the camp is going to go it's it's always it's always pretty tough against a guy who's has his camp all all squared away it goes you know each like each of the times you know it's like all right you know i believe in it whereas me it's kind of like well, all right well hopefully this one is good but uh you know i'm piecing it all together and i really did have a good camp to where i could i could pull off of that and like hey You've been here in camp. You've 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 kind of you, um, you know all the sparring and 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 stuff. You can dig deep. You know this is a tough scrap, but you can dig deep. It's all there. When would you like to fight again? Like, sort of that, I know that. I know you're <clears throat> yeah. No, I'd like to be on the uh, Cleveland card, okay. September 10th. You know, um, that'd be a pretty good card to be on. Uh, you know, I grew up there a little bit. Of course, I took state championship there, no big deal. Um, but uh, yeah, that's a good crowd. That's a good card to be on. And uh, we'll check what happens. Great, just was curious, congratulations. By yeah. The way. Uh, curious, you mentioned Frankie Edgar. I think your career will always sort of be linked to him. Yeah. He's fighting tomorrow for the interim title. And I'm wondering if you had a moment when you saw that and used that as motivation because obviously your careers have gone in a bit of different directions. 100%, your yeah. Them, yeah. And you're like, look, look where he is. I could still be there. I was this close to beating him. Yeah. Did you use that at all? The fact that you were fighting on a on an undercard the night before him fighting for the yeah. ball. Did that ever come yeah. into your mind? Oh, so definitely. You know, he has done a great job. Um, he's just gotten better, better, and... Uh, you know, again, it's a type of guy that has his camp, has his um, all the like all of it down, and he's just been able to kind of produce it at each and every to where you know I've kind of been jumping around here and all over the place, and uh, um, you know he he he's been he's been uh, he's been really good, you know, and and. Uh, It'd be nice to to get back up to that, you know, and and uh, just you know, get after it again. But in terms of obviously winning the spot, just talk about emotion, uh, your emotion to us, because you bet on yourself. You knew this was going to work out. Yeah. All the people saying, "Go and do it. This isn't a good yeah. idea." How did you feel when it finally sunk in that hey, all this paid off? I, yeah. I, I told everybody this was going to work. Yeah. The proof is in the pudding. Yeah. Did you have a special moment with your training camp in the back? Did you have a special moment with your family that was fun? What, what, what happened right after that? What went through your mind? Yeah. Um, you know, it's always been there, though. It's always like, I'm going to go get the win. I'm, I'm going to do this. Uh, you know, of course, I got clipped a couple times by a couple different people, obviously. But, um, you know, I always plan on it you know I plan on coming out of there you know Gray Maynard you know he won but uh it didn't happen um but about halfway through camp I kind of knew it was it was a good camp I was I was doing all this stuff you know I had to do and uh just planned on it you know, it was, it was like, all right, you put in the work, you did a good job, you're going to get the win. Not like, well, I hope this worked out. I hope I get the win. It was just, I planned on it. And if this, if, if this didn't work out, would, would you have planned to stay in your division, or do you think that would have been your last fight? <laughs> didn't cross my mind, but, uh, you know, if it didn't, and then, I will, uh, you know, I'd probably have to, sit back and 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 just kind of check where i'm gonna go because uh you know i'm a competitor I, I i hate to lose and if i'm not good at a sport then you know it's kind of about time to move on but um 
you know, I always had it in me and, uh, you know, just had to prove it. Thanks very much, guys. Yep.